about 1946. My grandfather started the business. My father took over when he was 17. My father's been doing the same methods as my grandfather uh, was making the tofu back then. You soak the beans the night before, you, you wash the beans, you rinse the beans, then you smash it, and then you cook the beans, and then uh, you pour the, the milk into this uh, bag, and it's like a cheesecloth bag, sort of. And you pour that in, you catch the milk, you throw away the extract, which would be the okara, the milk we use to make the tofu. And then from there, we add a, a coagulant that makes the milk curdle, and then we pour it into a cheesecloth uh, wooden box, and then uh, we uh, cover that up, and then we put weights on it to push out the excess wa well, the, the water. And then the curds would compress together and form a block, well, a whole huge block. And then once it gets to a certain point, we take all the weights off, and then we put it into the water, and then we just cut it by hand and let it cool off, and then we sell it. Prior to Thanksgiving, we, we agreed, okay, let's, let's just close up and we'll look for work elsewhere because this, is, this kind of work is actually taking a toll on us. You know, I'm not, I'm not 30 years old anymore and I'm not in the best of my shape. And um, I mean, if I was, I'd probably continue, but I'm not. I mean, everything that I did when I was younger, I, can't, I couldn't do towards closing time or the towards our closure because uh, everything was just too heavy. But I just kept thinking I was capable of lifting these things still, but I'm not as strong as I used to be. And once word got around that we're closing, and I kept, I kept thinking to myself, what, what, what will happen now that the public kind of knows that we will close for good? And then it just, Bam, we got, we got hit. The, the media came, uh, word of mouth spread like, like, like the forest fire or something. I mean, it just spread so fast. And then, then we started noticing all these lines and kept thinking, ah, this, is, this is a little crazy. My dad showed up. My sister brought my dad because I kept thinking, did you tell dad that I'm closing up the shop, and she goes, no, he just found out who bought the building. And I'm like, uh, she goes, why don't you tell us you're closing the store? I go, well, it's, it's really not your, your, your business. It's, it's, it's mine. I go, it's my decision and Amy's decision, decision to close. Why do we have to get the whole family involved? You guys weren't there when we had our fire. And I go, so rightfully, we didn't have to tell you. But when my dad showed up, then it was kind of like, uh, I go, Dad, you know, we're closing our store. Today's our last day. Uh, you know, I, to this day, I can't remember if he nodded his, his head yes or if he said, mm. And if he says, mm, that means like, yeah, I know. A lot of customers, I'm, I'm able to, uh, well, get their tofu, but at the same time, we could strike a conversation Sometimes it drives Amy nuts, but this is this is how I am. This is how I get to know my customers, and um, it, just just developing a, a a bond that it's kind of I don't know I don't know how to say it, but it, it just feels good, and, and and it's almost like a if I don't see them once a week or something, I, I keep thinking, ah, oh, something's wrong with Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so, I, I hope they're okay. That image was drawn by a, a, a friend of ours. The, they own the coffee shop at the corner. Uh, she just came up with the character, but a lot of people thought, oh, that it was me. I go, look at me. I go, I have no hair on my, on my scalp. And I go, look at that character up there. That's a lot of hair. I go, I wish I looked like that. I, go, I may have a baseball face now, but I have no hair. I go, no, that's not me. I go, I'm, not, I'm not pudgy. I'm not holding a plate like this. But a lot of people said, oh, that's you. I go, no, it's not. It's, I go, think what you want, but it's, but it's not me. If I crave tofu, I, 
I, I really try not to think about it too much. Um, I mean, I have a, a good friend where we go out to eat Korean restaurants, Chinese or Japanese restaurants, and uh, if they have a tofu dish, we'll probably order one dish that has tofu in it. And like Japanese restaurants, they have the miso soup, so there's there's chunks of who somebody's tofu, and I'll I'll eat it, and I'll think God, it's my tofu's not like this. It's this is yucky, but I'll eat it just to be just to be polite.